Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for the War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Decius Drone. This decal set includes two decal sheets, one on foil and one on vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at the Decius Drone, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, the Decius drone looks awesome. I love the black, silver, and gray color scheme. It just really works for this character. Taking a closer look at the figure, he does have some blue eyes, silver face with the black helmet. He does have a translucent clear chest, but it's dark purple, so it's not too bad, but it still gives away the hollowness of the chest area. He also has a green Quintesson logo right there. Uh, lots and lots of battle damage, but as I said, with this color scheme, it really works. It just adds to the character. You've got this battle damage up here on the shoulders. So this guy is just loaded with battle damage. And that's pretty much it for the paint applications. I mean, he is a straight up repaint of Ironhide, but as this evil Quintesson version, it works. So there you go, guys. The Decius drone in robot mode before and after. And holy crap, what a difference Toy Hacks made on this Decius drone figure. Now, this decal set was inspired by the 2008 E-Hobby Generation 1 Ironhide reissue that they did in black. They called it the Protect Black Ironhide. So that's what this decal set is loosely based upon. Now, the first decal you're probably noticing is the new windshield decal that looks amazing. It's got the targeting rectangle right there, and I dig it. That looks so cool. There's also red decals right there in the armpits. Decals up here on the shoulders, black and chrome. You got the 055, which was the ID number for the eHobby reissue. Now you do have options. You have, instead of the 055, you got an Autobot logo right there, but I think I'm going to keep this guy a bad guy. And here on the forearms, we got chrome detailing. Up here on the shoulders, some red. On the sides, of course, you see some yellow decals. Yellow decals right here that cover up the Quintesson logo. Moving on down to the legs, we got red and chrome for the knees. Red and yellow decals on the side. On the inside, new chrome decals, which look kind of like a fan of some sort. And on this side, you got a little chrome decal right there. And you can also see some decals on the wheels that we'll go over more later on. So an amazing new look for the Decius drone. Now, if you want to take the G1 look any further, there is a third mode that Toy Hacks has shown off. What you want to do is pop the arms off on that mushroom peg. Good. Put my tweezers down. Pop both of those off. Take the head, fold down into the body, and then bring the chest back up. Now what we're going to do, move this section down and pop these wheels out. One's a little tighter than the other. There we go. So we got the wheels popped out. Go ahead and swing this section around like so. Go ahead and lock that back into place up there. Move the arms up and rotate around just like so. 
Now you're going to take the forearms and reattach them to where the proper fist is on the proper arm. Go ahead and do this side here. Now you're going to take the wheels, plug the wheels into the shoulders, and now you have Diaclone Ironhide, kind of like his G1 toy look. And to be honest, this thing looks like some sort of mech. And I bet if you load this thing up with weaponry, let's see, we'll give him his big old bazooka. And I've got this drill. And I've got some third party add-on kits or add-on weapons we'll give to him. So let's get that in there. Maybe. Having the wheel right there is kind of throwing things off just a little bit. I had to switch my forearm weapons around, but check that out now. That looks wicked. That looks like something right out of Mech Warrior. So there you go, guys. The Decius drone in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, the Decius drone still looks really, really good. I just love this color scheme. He's a evil robot and he looks the part. The translucent windshield here doesn't look near as bad as it did in robot mode. It's filled out more because of the Decius drone's head there on the inside, but still you can see the head on the inside. You got the Quintesson logo right there on the front. You got the big grill right there, a big bumper. The wheels are a little plain, lots of nice sculpted details, but they're just black they could have at least had some battle damage on it as well. The windows, you really can't make out those at all, thanks to all the scuff and battle scoring. And of course, he's got the feet hanging off the back. But all in all, I like the looks of this vehicle. It just looks really badass. So there you go, the DCS drone in vehicle mode before and after. And just like robot mode, vehicle mode is a whole nother beast. Taking a closer look at the figure, I love this windshield decal. It looks amazing. A great carryover for robot mode, along with the decal right here below the windshield. Along the sides of the vehicle, we get new yellow, black, and red decals, which are a throwback to the Generation 1 Diaclone version. New red and yellow decals up here on the top, Red silver decals right there on the side and decals for the wheels. You've got chrome in the middle and then some little white squares along the rims that really look good. Along the back, we get a new chrome decal that goes all the way around the entire vehicle. Well, not one decal. You got two decals right there that really look good. I love chrome decals. This vehicle looks amazing now. So there you go, the Decius drone in vehicle mode after. I freaking love this decal set that Toy Hex did for the Decius drone. This figure looks so badass now. And for those of you who army build with this figure, I think this will be a perfect decal set to add to one of your figures to make him the alpha or the leader of the pack this is amazing, and if you add some extra weaponry, this guy just pops. So Toy Hex, man, you knocked it out of the park with this one. Now I have to go buy a couple extra Decius drone figures myself. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!